Hey guys, Adam here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm sitting here, uh, just getting ready to leave for my first Highland Games competition, and I've been trying to get this video out now for a good two weeks. Um, I find it hard sometimes to find the time to edit videos, uh, just with life and kids and work. YouTube is not my job. Uh, it'd be fun if it was, but it's not. So what this video here is going to be basically a video dump of the training footage over the two-week period, uh, both lifting and throwing. And I started off this day with something that I haven't done in a long time, which is pause bench. Um, typically, I try and move my bench as fast as possible. Uh, the eccentric is fast but controlled. And, I mean, there's, there's lots of benefits to pause bench. Good bar control on the eccentric, not bouncing the bar off your chest. And it teaches you how to explode the weight up on the concentric. Now, one thing that you're probably going to notice here is my grip is not uh, overly wide. I'm not a power lifter. And I use very little leg drive. When I learned how to do bench press 30 years ago, it was an upper body movement. So I never learned how to use my legs. Um, so any friends out there who are power lifters are probably going to be saying, man, use your goddamn legs. But... I never learned. Uh, maybe I will try it uh, for, you know, from now on and see how it goes, but I do just fine as is. So then I went on to a great uh, unilateral leg movement stone squats. And basically these are just a variation of your typical barbell lunge uh, that I learned when I took up Highland Games um, 17 years ago. And uh, I saw one of the greats uh, do this on a video and I worked it in. And so basically what you do is you step up from the rack and you're going to stand in a standing uh, putt position, like in a shot put standing throw. Twist your upper body and then lunge over that, um, that, that front leg. And it's a great burn in the outer quad. And because you're twisting your upper body, you'll get some great core activation. And uh, it's just a great exercise. And I might keep these in. We'll see. That's the thing when you have so many... Uh, exercise to choose from and you only have an hour or so to train I do my best to pick the ones that I think I'm going to get the most bang for my buck on that day and um, but this is a great exercise and you don't want to go super heavy I think I worked up to uh, 115 uh, it's something that you want to do more reps on and not really max out on um, but great great exercise <laughs> squats i went under front squats a favorite exercise of mine um i don't have the shoulder flexibility to rack it like an olympic lifter so i use the bodybuilding cross arm style but there's lots of ways that you can uh front squat whether straps or or cross arm or whatever uh but excellent exercise for the quads and i just did singles uh because i already pre-exhausted with those stone squats so i just hit uh some heavy-ish singles up to 285 for an easy single because again as i said before uh, it's about pain management right now and i don't be too sore uh, to throw so that evening after i did that lift during the day we did some caber toss um, which is the premier event in the highland games it's the most recognizable event and the most difficult there's nothing that you can do in the gym that can mimic a caber toss you just have to train it uh, and sort of the hardest thing about the caber toss is that initial pick, that quick pick off the ground. Once you master that, then you just have to balance it, run with it, and flip it. So, <laughs> but the pick is the hardest thing. Um, and this was the first practice that I had done uh, the caber yet this year, and wasn't all that great. Did about twelve reps, and only turned it once, and I got a nice big raspberry on my collarbone to show for it. The following day, I was back out in the field again to train, and I did uh, some stones and weights for distance. I uh, started off with our heavy stones. This is the Braemar Stone Putt. It's a standing putt event, uh, and these stones can vary in weight from 22 pounds uh, all the way up to, I throw a 36-pound stone in one competition, So, um, but they're all heavy stones, and it's all standing putts. Uh, this is a good day. It's a good putts, um, some good distances. And went on to the uh, open stones. This is our true shot put style event. You have seven and a half feet to advance that toe board. You can use whatever style you want, shuffle, glide, spin. Uh, I have 
tried them all. <laughs> uh, the spin works best for me, but again, it's still hit or miss. Uh, but today was a good day, and I put out some good numbers. Uh, next, I just did some technique work with the 28-pound weight for distance. So this is our lightweight, uh, the men's lightweight event. Uh, very timing uh, heavy, and it hasn't been one of my best events. Again, it's, I can blast out one, one competition and then shit the bed the next competition. Uh, so I worked on some single spin throws just to try and get that lazy right foot of mine to turn around and not land on my heel, but land on the ball of my foot. And uh, it's, been, it's been good so far this year, and I'm hoping that it'll translate well to competition. So after a day off, was back on the field again. Right now I'm throwing about three days a week. Uh, and trying to lift once. I'm going to try and keep that in there if I possibly can, but right now I throw three days a week and compete on the weekend. So that in itself is very uh, taxing and time-consuming. And again, I train on my, on my lunch hours. I only have about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, so I can't train all the events in one session. So I will pick uh, one or two events and then just train the shit out of it uh, for that hour and 15. So I threw both hammers, both heavy and light, our 22 and our 16-pound hammer. And um, I'm a right-handed thrower, so I throw over my left shoulder. Uh, we need tacky, so that spray substance there allows us to hold on to the hammer because the faster you wind, the, the harder it's, uh, it is to hold on to. But again, I had some great distances, uh, the best of the practice season so far. And I had to tell myself that this really means nothing to practice. <laughs> it's all about competition day. So it's great that I threw uh, well in practice, but I can't let it get to my head. And I have to try and stay um, you know, focused on getting things done on competition day. Because practice is very laid back. There's no pressure. There's no crowds. Um, you know, you can pick your weather. If I don't want to throw in the rain in practice, I don't. But it could rain on competition day, and I have to throw in the rain on comp. So, um, you know, practice is always a more controlled environment. But it went well. Some great throws. I'm really enjoying throwing this year. Uh, last year, I was a bit tough because I just came off uh, not doing any throwing in 2020. But anyway, so far, so good. Uh, the other day I did, um, so this would have been Wednesday. So Wednesday at noon hour, uh, I did a little lift. So I did some incline bench and, uh, just did just a few sets with my top sets being three sets of five at 225. Not super heavy, just enough to get a good pump, but not maybe too sore. And you'll notice that my incline bench, I get that full range of motion right into my throat. And, um, I've always done that. Then on to overhead press. So again, just signal uh, single, sorry, I pre-exhausted with uh, incline bench and then just hit some uh, singles with with uh, OHP. Hit a t easy 207 and then tried 225 and uh, I missed it. I uh, just didn't have the jam. I'm going to blame it on uh, incline, but uh, the truth of the matter is because I, th I lift less and throw more, my gym lifts uh, usually go down uh, during the summer, and my uh, throws uh, increase. Went on to some stiff legged deadlift. Uh, again, just two sets, two sets on these uh, lifting days. Uh, with the top set at 225 or 10. Very easy. Again, just a, a nice little burn uh, just to get my uh, posterior chain activated to throw and not be too sore. Finished off um, with a hack squat. I was going to do overhead squat, but I was too burnt out from doing uh, OHP. And then, um, uh, so I decided to go on to just, 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 just some hack squats. Again, just light three sets of 10 with just one plate per side. Again, good little pump, but nothing too crazy. Because I knew that evening I was going to be throwing again. And um, so I didn't want to be too sore. Because I'm, uh, I'm not young anymore. I mean, I'm almost 51, so I have to... That's always in the back of my mind that I can't go too crazy uh, on uh, throwing days. 
in the gym. I have to keep that in mind. So that evening went back to Caber Toss. This was a much better practice. I kind of figured out that last practice, I was shorting my pull. So instead of pulling my arms or my hands, sorry, well above my head and behind to get that full extension, I was shorting the pull. Uh, so this one here, I did five reps and turned, I think, three of the five or four of the five. So much, much better. And I feel much better about doing caber this weekend. Um, I think I've uh, figured it out. Now, hopefully um, it goes well. But uh, so that was that. I know it's not my usual, uh, you know, well edited. Uh, there's no uh, memes or B-roll in here. And I'm just kind of doing this on one take with uh, no voice edits. Uh, so I, um, I'll get a better uh, video out next time. I'm going to videotape, if I can, the competition this weekend in Perth Andover and have something for you next week. Um, well, that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for episode 105 of The Ways. <laughs>